Welcome to Crash Bandicoot Warped Platinum Relics Part 3. The last video had one of the worst Platinum Relics in the entire trilogy, Hog Ride. I had the one millisecond loss against the Platinum Time, as you can see right there, 38.07. But I did eventually get it. I'm just hoping that Tomb Time, and what's the last one? Fucking Midnight Run are not going to be as bad. In fact, it'll be pretty difficult to be as bad as Hog Ride, so... Even if they're difficult relics, they can't be as bad as that. So that that's the positive. Oh, slippery slidey. What if I just one shot at this? Fuck. I made a ri I, I made a sacrifice there. There's a one crate here, so I'll go this way. Fuck's sake. That's faster, right? Just slide over them. Land on that. Wait, this triple Aku, right? I missed the one crate. As if we need that. Fuck's sake. It's looking like a fun level. As long as the time isn't completely ridiculous, it's looking like a fun level. To try and optimize on. Bollocks. No, 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 no. Why have they done that? Why have they put a three crate up there? That's the worst. Fuck. That's actually going to be a bit annoying. That wouldn't have been platinum. You need, you're going to need that three time. Right, they've just ruined the level with that one crate. I think I'm, go I think I'm going like solid pace though. I have to say that. Like I'm skipping corners and everything here. Let's... Okay. Fine. Come on. Oh, that's slow. Gold. I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, I did belly slam. 50, 53. Am I missing crates again? I've noticed in this series, specifically this one, I'm missing a lot of crates. Crates that I'm not aware of. That's the thing. Is there anything here? No? Let me just go through the level. Because again, I am missing crates a lot in this series. And I'm not aware of them being there. Again, missing crates is nothing new. I did it quite a bit in Crash 2. But that was an accident. If I missed them, it was an accident. Let me just go this way. 
Oi. Okay, well, it looks like... It looks like I've gotten my answer. Right. I think that's my answer. Or it might not be. It might actually just be... You can go any way that you want. Holy fuck! What the no? That's so. That's not even. That's not even the answer. That was slower than my other run. I mean, that's ridiculous. So we're gonna go the right path. We're gonna have to do that good old trick. I mean, if I'm talking about a few seconds here, then yeah, probably. I mean, that is a actually shit time. Seriously. What were they thinking? Now I can see why some people said that this wasn't as... Or, you know, wasn't as easy as some people are, were trying to make it out to be. Oh, come on. I even got the slide off when I landed. Yeah, but this is why people said warped was, like, not as easy as some people were making it out to be. Because... Like, it really isn't completely easy. You've got fucking hog ride in the game. You've got this, which is one of the stricter times I've even seen. How the shit in hell do you even get that? I mean, that's not it. What, what, what is a good way of getting that? Seriously. Do I even need to... Okay, you don't need to do that. 50... Okay, that, that was like a 57, 58 without the 3 crate. So we're, we, we are getting better. But that three crate, I've not found a way of getting through that. Maybe just walking on that mud is faster. Sometimes I can get that, sometimes I can't. I'm not willing to double jump. You know, the double jump is really strange. It's like, you can double jump, but if you wait too long, the it just doesn't work. And that's arguably when you need it the most. <laughs> I really hope Warp Room 2 is the hardest one in the game. How do you fucking fail that? Oh, get over the stairs for the love of God. What fucking way does- what, what does the game expect you to do there? And that's platinum time right there. I don't have a good way of doing that one crate. It's the one- if that crate was just on the floor, this would probably be fine. Oh, come on, seriously? Don't waste time. No longer platinum. So happy about that. Well, to be honest, what's the point of going for a platinum run if I can't do this bit properly? Like, like, there's no good way of getting this fucking shitty crate. And then you get stuck on that one. There's so many things that can go wrong there. I might just start going the other way. I mean, obviously both ways work, right? So I might just start going the other way. The only problem with the other way is that there's a very, very tight time with the door. I'm gonna see if I can at least get a, at least 
get a decent time going the other way. And if I can, then I'll probably just stick with it. Right, so that shot, that, that's... The first time I got through that, it shot on me as I was going through it. That's a really, really strict time. Just land on the thing. It's like, it's really not difficult. It really isn't. Holy shit, this level sucks. Man, this whole warp room sucks, in all honesty. Like, I, I the only reason I'm dying like this as well is because I'm trying to save as many milliseconds as possible because of this ridiculous time right i'm trying i'm doing stupid things to cut as many as, as many milliseconds off and i'm it's costing me the whole run but that's because i have to there's no other option like i'm trying to get as much seconds there as many milliseconds there We'll just go the right way because it's easier. There's no doors or any stairs or anything. It's just all easy platforming. With the exception of one crate. It's okay. Maybe I'm thinking maybe you land on the first block. Then you... Slide jump, slide spin, triple spin, or you know what I mean. To the crate. Is that how you do it? Oh, I was off that. Nope. Again, missed it. Holy fuckeroonies. Like, what the hell? Jump over to this one. Jump over to that, jump over to that. Platinum time right there. So now, now we're at 50. So we, okay, if I had that crate, that would have been platinum. If I had that crate, that would have been platinum. What a lovely, lovely level to put after hog ride of all levels. Seriously, what are they, I'm actually trying to. Oh man, I'm trying to think of what they were actually thinking when they, when they did this. Yeah, let's make the driving control suck in this game. And then, let's put a really crappy time on Hog Ride. And then, let's do Tomb Time and just give it a 53 seconds. Which is, like, perfect play. Demanded. Ridiculous. What are they thinking? They're out of their goddamn minds. Thank you for counting that. Oh, got caught on the ledge again. Uh, I nearly did it as well. Like it, I landed on the block. I did the double jump and I tried to spit. It just didn't. It just didn't happen. That's one of the worst crates in the entire series. Yes, I'm ranking crates now. This controller's got a mind of its own. I swear. I didn't double jump there. Why would I double jump there? It doesn't even make sense. Fuck. Yeah, the double jump, the double jump is so good because the longer you wait, it doesn't work. Again, the double jump, it will work for maybe the first second after a slide. Any longer after that, it won't work if, if you press A. You, you can't like wait until the very peak of your slide to jump. It doesn't work like that. Why are we, why am I talking? Jump early because you have to. Oh, man, that could have been it. Could very well have been it. It wasn't the fastest three crate, I'll say that. It could have been fast enough, but no, we had to get the belly flop. Good old belly flop.
fucking... The problem is that it demands perfect play, that's why small little errors like that are actually getting on my nerves. Because you can't have them. It, it, it just ain't it, Chief. Fifty-three twenty-five. Oh my god. Dude, I don't even know how I got the three crate there. I have no idea. I just heard it smash and I was like, you heard me. You heard my reaction to when I smashed that crate. I don't even know how I did it. I think the triple Aku lasted long enough to the point where just touching it smashed it. I don't even know. I don't even care. I smashed the crate and I got the run. Barely. Again, let's just check the time again. 5390. Okay, so I did it by like a decent chunk of the 53. I got an early 53, right? But... Oh, let's do Midnight Run. See what bullshit this level offers. You know, the first level was fine because I missed so many crates. I think five seconds worth of crates and I got Platinum. It's really the level as opposed to the... I don't even know, actually. No. The levels are tough. Okay, we could, we could do that. No point learning the level without the Relic being... Are we really doing this, guys? Like... Why are we putting the clock there to the, to the hard left, like... Alright, I'm just trying to figure out how we're even going to start this fucking level. So we have to go underneath. You know, I don't like these levels because of the boosting. I mean, is that even possible to boost and get all those crates at the beginning? I'm not going to do it because I think the time is going to be... I'm going to line up with them and then do it. I just want to see where everything is. How do you pay attention? How... What is the hitbox on these things? You know, if that was an enemy, right, I would have hit that. If that was an enemy, I would have hit that. I, I just love how they made the hitboxes of the crates perfectly accurate. But then they made the hitboxes of the... Can we die, please? Purposely trying to die, and I just... They made the hip... I don't want the... <laughs> they made the hitboxes of the crates one-to-one. -one. You know, if you're one millimeter away from that thing, it won't it won't hit. But man, they made the hitboxes on their enemies the most bollocks hitbox I've ever seen in any video game. So that's all you gotta do, just That you've got to jump really early for. Need the Accu Crate, that is certain. Lost my Accu already. I really hope the time is not strict, like the, like the first power level. I really hope it's not strict, because I am when I finish this level, certainly going to miss plenty of crates. You know what? Using the Aku there might be necessary if I want to get that two crate. If I just want to just run straight past the guys instead of trying to jump over them, blah blah blah. But with, like, a few tricks if, to just get the majority of the crates will be good. 
So let's get the Akiraku. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll use my damage boost there just to get the, the five. I know I missed the three crates, but on a good run, that's what I'll do. Here, it's all about... Slowing down again, that's what it's about. I mean... Is that the end of the level? Okay, it's not a long level. It's not a long level, that's good. Okay, no, this will be fine. This will be fine. This will be a good level. This will be easy. I've just got to get the crates this time. 18 seconds. You need to hit every crate. Okay. See the hitbox on that thing? That's ridiculous! That's, that's... Again, th th there is no denying if that is an enemy, that would hit me. That would have, that would, that would have completely hit me. So we do that. Hang hard right just to get that. I'm gonna get the Aku. Jump. Okay, so the, the, the way to gauge that is to jump basically just as the, the gap is about to happen. If there's something on the level itself that, you know, you can remind yourself of, that that's what we need to do. So here I'm just lining up the wall. It's slow as shit, but it's the only way I can hit that three crate. Get the Aku crate. So here we're going to jump now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Wait, did I miss a crate? I, I think I've seen a sneaky crate. I'm not sure. Um, Jesus Christ. Oh my days. Okay, so that's the next section we need to learn. That's the next section. We'll learn the beginning. We need to learn the second half now. Let me just look out for a hidden crate. Yep, yeah, there's a hidden... Well, I think that's a few... I don't think you can get that if you go take the underway. Okay, that's much faster. Again, let's learn the level. So basically, last second jump. Oh, that's a three crate? Wait. Interesting. We might need to get that, actually. It would help a lot if we could get that from bottom level, but... Wait, actually. No, you just have to go up on that level. You have to, to get that three crate. That's the only way you get it. I don't know why I thought you had to go below. I think it's just because I didn't see any crates up top, so I thought there's no point. But no, th there's a crate up there that you're going to have to get. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, it's six seconds. No wonder I didn't get them. I'm surprised I even got gold. Okay, this level should be should be completely fine now. Well, if we can get the clock. That'd be great. Jump. Kaboom. That fucking bastard! He's just there, holding bricks. Shouldn't be there. So go go left, basically. Okay. Nice. Because again, had the boost up. There are going to be more sections like that that I need to prepare for, but I need to get to them first. <laughs> That's one of them. That's one of them. Don't hold the boost at that bit. I will say one thing. This is a fun level. This is a fun level to actually optimize and learn. And get better on. No. That, okay, so. It's like an instant jump after you... Jump the gap. That's interesting. Okay. 
Gee, I, I, I held the boost for a millisecond too long, I guess. Like, the goal is to boost during the, the run up top and then let go. Oh my god, that's still... That's a bit where I have to let go of the boost as well. Or whatever. See, that's already not platinum. Again, it's fun. It's fun. It's more of a strict time, I think, than the other power level. But it's fun to learn, at least. Hitboxes on the crates are questionable. Don't know how I lived that. Should have probably hit one of those obstacles. That's a pretty early jump. That was close. That was close. We're about a sec- Like, if I hit maybe one of those crates that I miss, You don't have to hit every crate. That's one good thing. Yeah, no, I wanted to restart that. I don't know why I went around again. You don't have to hit every crate. That's good news. Because uh, that bit is really hard to line. Why is that a thing? Why can you hit the... Why have they made that a hitbox? How can you hit that... That small, tiny little piece of wall sticking out of the arch? Where the wall connects with the arch, there's a small, tiny centimeter of wall. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, that's how I'm going to get the three crate. It's better than, like, trying to jump from a billion miles away. I've just got to watch out for the actual obstacle at that point. Yeah, maybe that'll make the level easier, just, like... Turning off the speed boost. Missed the three crate. I feel like missing a three is just detrimental, it's just not happening. That's Platinum. Man, I am not happy with both of these runs. I missed the three crate that was easy to get. I could I could do these levels way better. So much better. Not that it, like, means anything. It's, like, not gonna be world record pace or anything. Like, who cares? At the end of the day, I've already got Platinum, but... Oh, man, good riddance to Warp Room 2. That level was so shit. Let's just take a look what we have in Warp Room 3 for the next video, because, yeah, I'm done for today. Dino might. That level... I don't know. Might be... Oh, another water level. High time, I've heard very bad things about, so I'm not looking forward to that. Road Crash. That one will probably be the better one, the the warp room. Wow! So we're we're in for we're in for warp room two v two. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you all in my next video.